today we have Randy Taylor here, um, founder and creator of ICCW, Independent Comic Creators Worldwide. Um, Andy, so tell us a little bit about that and how you came about creating ICCW. Uh, well, I've been uh, working on my own indie comics for about 10 years with Joe over here. Um, and we just, we had a tough go at it from the beginning, you know, there's, there was no resources, there was, you know, very little out there besides going to cons and getting advice from people to help you get through. But, you know, we toughed it out and eventually got our books together, and I was just kind of sitting one day, and I was like, well, you know, there's, there's other sites out there like digital webbing and TV and art, but they're not really personal sites, they're, you know, mass production sites and things like that, you know, people don't really that I could, you know, develop a resource center for other indie creators um, where they can come and get reviews, they can talk to other creators, they can maybe collaborate, you know, and really just open up the industry to indie books. You know, it's been my belief for a long time that there are creators out there in the, you know, in the industry who do just as good, if not better, than some of your, you know, big time names out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that too, because I've noticed a lot of the artwork of different people, and I'm like, well, that's not like super, and yet you're published, you know? It's not like super public, um, super, super work. Yeah. What was the difference between that person and somebody who's, you know, who yeah. just starting off and just can't uh, get the opportunity yeah. to do it, so. Timing and placement is, <laughs> it comes down to, I mean, a lot of these people will eventually be noticed. I've, I've had a lot of people on the site um, who've been noticed because of the site. They've gotten, you know, maybe not, you know, great paying jobs, but paid to do what they love to do, which is, you know, in our world, it's, it's quite important to get paid, you know, to do what you do. I can't, we can't all do it for free, just for the love of it, you know, there's a lot of time and energy. What, what are your plans as far as promoting the, um, the site, and as well as that aspect of the business that you're doing? I know you have your own comic book as well. Yeah, uh, we do have, um, we came out with a book called Rampage, it's a 100 page anthology, uh, just different stories from people around the world, Germany, not Germany, but Australia, Greece, you know, Poland, there's a lot of different things going on. Um, and we just, you know, sell that at cons. I actually sold out the first run. We're getting ready to put it into a second run when it can land. Um, we're working on another ongoing anthology series called ICCW Presents. Uh, each book will have its own theme. Uh, the first one is Psychic Kids. The next one, I'm um, allowing you know, having the writers and artists do public domain superheroes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, um now, as far as ICCW, um, what's your hopes? Let's say, for instance, a year from now, two years. I know it's relatively new. What's your hopes within the next year or two? I hope in the next year or two that we can actually reach a level where we can um, be an actual publisher. Have a series or mini series of graphic novels coming out with you know, that are strictly ICCW books. You know, it's great to do anthologies. People get work on their get to work on their anthologies. Work, but a lot of people out there have a series they want to do. Okay. So I'm hoping that you know what we're doing now will lead up to some allowing somebody to do a four issue miniseries, a six issue miniseries, or a graphic novel of their own creation. And you know, through us, you know, yeah, you know, we need to make money, but I'm not going to be taking 60, 70, 80 percent of you know the profit from what these people make. You know, just a small, small percentage allowing them to reap the benefits of their hard work. Exactly. So I, I definitely agree with that. Let me ask you this: as far as marketing, because you're back then you're marketing other artists. What advice would you give to someone who wants to market themselves, or well, somebody who wants to actually write a book that you know they're getting like bad feedback and? Or they're just down and out about it. What kind of advice would you give somebody like that? Uh, you got to take the good with the bad as far as the good goes. Um, you just got to keep it tough. Take, take people's advice. You know, if you show a page and they're like, okay, well, you know, this could have been done different, this could have been done different. Take that advice. Do it different. Do what you're told to do. But make sure it's constructive criticism and not somebody's opinion of your own. Yeah, I agree with that. And just, just keep going. My, my thought has been, as far as marketing goes, you got an idea, do a 16-page book. It costs a couple dollars a book to do a 16-page book. Take it and just give it to them. Eat that money, you know, you're not going to, you know, you might make some money off 
your child out there for other people to see and enjoy, hopefully. Yeah. Now, I know you, you yourself, you're working on a book. Tell me a little bit about Assassin's Guild. That's a book you're working on as well. well Assassin's Guild, I've been doing Assassin's Guild for about six years now. Six years, okay. Uh, this started as an idea. I moved on with it. Uh, the story is, um, Irma Sorrow is the future city capital of the United States. Things go bad for one guy. He returns to his awareness of you know, growing up on the street. He hooks up with, you know, the friends he left a long time ago to, you know, to get revenge. But it goes deeper than that. It's, there's, you know, future stories. There's conspiracy. There's, you know, evil corporations. There's, you know, one, one story they hire themselves as a bodyguard to a rock star. I got an opportunity to read the book myself. I read it, um, you know, you gave me a copy to take a look at it. I bought a copy from you yesterday. And I was like, you know what? I was very impressed with it. Because the artwork was pretty, pretty um, was, was black and white. But you really got a chance to really see what the inks were and so forth like that. And you really get to see a lot of detail. But the story itself really was one where, you know, I think anybody could relate to. And that's as if they were in the same situation. You know, I'm not going to tell as much about the story, of course. I don't I want somebody to actually see it. But once you read the story, I think say, everybody could relate to it in some way. Yeah. Or you will want to be a guy that's kind of like how this guy is, you know? Yeah. There's no superpowers or anything like that, but it's kind of cool how he is, you know? So I yeah, thought it was yeah. a pretty good. I thought of creating the character, you know, the main character, Alex Dane, was, yeah, he's this, you know, this tough guy. Uh, he works for a corporation. His job is not a nice job. You know? Yeah. Is ordered to kill people sometimes, but he's not just a cold-blooded killer. You know, he's a family man. He's got a wife. He's got a kid. You know, he, he has you know responsibilities to other things besides his company. And when those two responsibilities kind of clash, things then that's when wrong. it really gets heated up. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you know what I want to do is want to say congratulations for what you're doing, and I think the Indie Comic Market really could benefit from what you what you're really doing, and I hope that you know it really does catch on and you don't lose that fire and let it go you know i hope you just continue oh, yeah. pushing pushing forward with it and i just want to say continue to go forward with it now we are going to be put in a trade okay and it will have like 15 pages of new material never before printed okay it's kind of lead into the next story so That's that will be out hopefully early next year because i already have the anthology the rampage um the first anthology book yeah. so i was actually hoping that you guys would probably have the second one for this con yeah, but, yeah. Rampage is going to be an annual thing. Okay. Um, the next one will probably be ready for MegaCon 2011. Okay. Um, so, you know, we'll probably figure around that time each year, you know, we're going to come out with a new Rampage. But I wanted to keep other things smaller and more, you know, kind of more, more manageable, manageable, right? Yeah, more manageable. Definitely more manageable. All right. Any which way, congratulations, guys. And I hopefully I'll be seeing more of you guys at more cons and trade oh, shows. Yeah, definitely. We'll be around. All right. Take care.